Hey everyone, Naik here. We are generally used to mice like this one, our hand flat on top and we move the cursor on screen like this. But this is the Logitech Lift Mouse. It is to be used vertically. Why? Watch the video to find out. This is the Logitech Lift Mouse, a wireless vertical ergonomic mouse to be exact. Supports Bluetooth and a Logitech dongle, 24 month battery life, this I got to see, whisper quiet clicks and customizable buttons. On the box, it still looks like a regular mouse, but once we get it out, the difference is quite evident. There are instructions on how to load up the battery and set it up using either Bluetooth or the Logi Bolt dongle. Here's the mouse. The first thing you will notice about the Logitech Lift is that it's not shaped like a traditional mouse. We have two buttons on the right for left and right clicks. The middle is a scroll wheel, which is also a button. Two more buttons on the left, which allow for forward and back navigation. The shiny grey part is plastic and the darker grey section has a rubber coating for better grip. The scroll wheel is smooth with a slight feedback, which gives you more control. We don't have the unlimited scrolling as in the MX Master. Behind that is a button to change the pointer speed, which effectively changes the DPI. These buttons are whisper quiet. This is how the click sound on the lift mouse and this is how my MX Master 2S sounds. Quite a difference. On the bottom we have a button to switch between computers. The mouse can pair with up to 3 devices at a time. Use the button below to switch between them. Below that is the on off switch, red is off and green is on. The sensor is in between. We have this cover here where the battery is located. The cover is held down using magnets so it's easy to remove and put back. Open up the cover and we find the dongle and battery within. Remove the plastic tab and the battery is now active. There is no rechargeable battery within and one AA battery is provided. When the battery is drained, we need to replace it. I wish it had a rechargeable battery. Here's the Logi Bolt dongle. When the system selection is on one, the dongle is used. I'm not using the provided dongle as my MX Master 2S's dongle already detected the device and it's ready to use. This notification popped up as I already have the Logitech Options app installed on my system. Else, just plug in the dongle provided and the mouse is detected. The Logitech Options app is used to customize the buttons on the mouse. It's not required if you don't want to. Now back to the mouse. The design is quite different from what we are generally used to. The mouse looks to be offset at an angle 57 degrees to be exact, with the buttons to the side and height-wise it's roughly double compared to a standard mouse. It's also available in pale grey, white and off-white, graphite, black and grey, which is the one I have, and rose, light pink and pink, so getting one that matches your setup is easy. No lighting anywhere on this mouse, it's meant for work and is reflected in its design. Build-wise, it's quite robust, no flexing or creaking anywhere. The rear rubberized portion makes it easy to grip. It weighs 133 grams, so it's heavy. And you do notice the weight when you try to pick it up off the table. There are multiple gripping styles. One is the palm grip, more like a handshake, the most comfortable of grips. Claw grip, when you want the mouse to not move out of your hands, a bit painful when used for long periods, but does provide more precision. Fingertip grip, this is fine for casual movement, cannot recommend this grip for precision work. I have been using it for a few weeks now and I found it to be a bit painful in the beginning. Some moves where we can reposition the mouse to get more space on screen, the lift mouse just slips out of your hand due to its shape. Also the height, we are used to mice half the height so I tend to tap the top, moving it across the screen and god knows what all I have clicked. It isn't designed to be stored away in a laptop bag. So that kind of makes it a bad travel mouse. There isn't hard evidence proving that a vertical mouse can alleviate issues like carpal tunnel syndrome or repetitive strain injury or RSI. I still do have pains in my wrist when using it for long hours, so no guarantees. The battery is not rechargeable. This is one of my biggest qualms about this mouse. At the price point it should have been. The MX Vertical does have rechargeable batteries but costs three times as much. The mouse also supports Logitech Flow, which allows you to easily switch between different computers simply by moving your cursor over the edge of the screen. You can also copy and paste data between computers.
the design once you get used to it is comfortable and works well. It's accurate enough for gaming and also precise creative work. No problems there. It's not as low latency as gaming mice. Just don't compete in esports with this one. Get a G502 instead. Battery life is not bad and is rated to last around two years. Honestly, the mouse may not be for everyone. The design is quite different from what you're used to and it doesn't take much to get used to also. And the mouse does feel a bit small in my hands. The MX vertical is more suited if you have big hands. But if you like the conventional mouse design and want an exceptional mouse, get the MX Master 3S instead. So what do you guys think of the Logi Lift Ergo mouse? Would you pick up a vertical mouse? Make sure to comment below. So that was the video. Make sure to like, subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are added. Thank you for watching and see you all next time.